I've received some assignment submissions from my students and it's time to do some grading. This tutorial will show you how to grade assignment submissions in Blackboard. I can access the submissions that need to be graded by going to the Needs Grading link in the control panel. Alternatively, I can go to the Full Grade Center and look for my exclamation point icons. So I use the Chevron menu to open the menu and click on the attempt to be graded. Either way, I'm now looking at a submission from one of my students. I'm going to close the course menu to get a little bit more viewing space here. I get a preview of her submitted document on the left, and on the right I have a panel of information, including a link to open up the assignment instructions for this assignment, a field to enter a grade for this attempt, a link for downloading the original file that the student submitted. In this case it's a Word document, and if I wanted to view it in Microsoft Word, then I can download it and open it externally in Word this way. I see that my student wrote me a comment along with her submission. There's a field for greater feedback. This is where I'll be typing in any overall comments for my student. These comments are visible to students, so they're different from the grading notes field that opens up when you click on this button next to the grade field. Grading notes are only available to users of the course who are doing the grading. So let's look at what's available to us in the buttons above the paper. We can zoom in and out on the paper text. Notice we've gotten a button labeled Comment, and this button opens up the annotation tools that are available to us for this paper. I'm able to click and add annotations directly to this paper that will be visible to students. So I can, let's see, insert a point comment, which allows me to make a comment at a specific point in the paper. I can insert an area comment. An area comment lets me select an area of the document for adding a comment to. I can select a text comment. Text comments allow me to highlight text and add comments to it. Oops. and there's different highlighting colors that you can use for text comments. There's a pencil button for drawing and clicking that allows me to draw directly on the paper. I can also just highlight the paper. I can write text on the paper with the text tool. Or I can use the strike through tool to strike out text on the paper. So those are the annotation tools available to you. Here we have paging buttons centered above the page view. Notice a chevron button at the top towards the right, which will open up all the comments made on my paper in list view. So this compiles all the comments into the screen, which may be helpful once you're ready to assign a grade. Once you are ready to assign a grade, the grade gets typed into the attempt field. And any grading notes that you saved for yourself or for other instructors in the class can be saved here as well. So these are great our notes for other instructors. Again, overall comments to my student should go in my greater feedback field. And that's it. This paper has been annotated and graded and it's ready to be submitted. The grade got saved to the Grade Center, and the next submission in my Needs Grading screen opened immediately for me. I can go back to the full Grade Center and see the grade for that student for that paper. If I want to recall and pull up that attempt, 
I use my chevron button to open the attempt and I'm back to the view mode for that paper that I just graded. By the way, students receive the feedback when they click on the original assignment link, assuming that link is still available to them, or they can access it through the My Grades tool, assuming that that link is available to them. They'll see the annotated document, the comments from the instructor, and they'll have the option to download the original file or the annotated PDF. This tutorial covered grading a Blackboard assignment.